make everything interesting. Wow. Yep. That would be definitely uh, Yeah. You know where the fish will run to. Oh yeah. They'll go right in there. They'll go right in there. That'd be a hot spot. Hey carp anglers, James Sanders here from Team Fish Fighters. Hey, uh, we're here at our sponsor's lake, Indy Lakes. It's probably like, this is like in the November time. Uh, temperature's dropping, it's getting colder. Uh, I think we're, we're almost pretty close to 35 degrees here at Indy Lakes. Uh, I mean, we're at, now we're at our slow period. Uh, basically, the, the lake is kind of closed right now, but you know, you just pay your little 15 bucks and you still come in here and fish, but the bait shop is closed. But Billy here has got one of the best pay lakes here in Indiana. Uh, great carp care here. Uh, great, uh, the jugs on it is awesome. I'm here with a couple of my teammates. Uh, me, Tom Pearson, uh, well, our new members, uh, Tommy Pearson, Kevin Thorpe, George Bird, and Jeremy Burdine. And then Stephen Norcutt, he just showed up not too long ago. So uh, here's a little demonstration that uh, Tommy Pearson getting ready to do it on a whole pay lake stand style and how the, the straw alarms work what kind of rigs he's using and uh, uh, what's his favorite uh, size of the rods that he used for the typical uh, uh, pay lake and also plus on top that the caster so uh, check out our show thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe carp lives matter don't forget that talk to you guys later bye How you doing everybody? I'm Tommy Pearson from Team Fish Fighter. We're out here at our sponsored lake, uh, Indy Lakes, one of the best pay lakes around. Uh, just want to give you guys a little insight on how we do our pay lake fishing compared to, you know, other wild water fishing. Uh, it's definitely a big difference. Uh, you know, we're a little bit more technical in the pay laker world. You know, we like more efficiency instead of, you know, maybe just casting something out there and just letting it sit until maybe we get a run. But uh, let me give you a quick rundown on, you know, our setup. Uh, these are our rod. Uh, these are our rod holders. Uh, sometimes, me personally, I like the shorter ones because I'm not really as tall. These these stands are mainly for somebody that's a lot taller and don't really, you know, bend over as much or want to bend over as much. Uh, they're real efficient. Whenever we get a fish on our rod tip, you know, it comes up like this, and we have. I don't know if you can see it, but our line is on this straw right here. And when we got a fish, it lifts the top of our rod up and it makes the light go off. Like so it don't matter if you're in the bathroom or laying down in the car, you know, no matter what, you're always going to hear that for sure. But me personally, like these ain't my rides. These are a good friend of mine, one of my brothers. But uh, as far as that, I got a rod over here that's actually mine. And me personally, I like to skeet Reese rods. Uh, it's really a bass fishing rod, but you know, in the carp world, you got a lot more control over. Uh, I got a Carp Master 6500. Uh, real smooth reel, definitely one of a good choice of mine. These rod stands, you know, we like them because obviously, you know, you can tilt them in different ways. Uh, you can tilt them down, you can tilt them straight up to where your line's like that. But me personally, I mean, these ain't mine, but I like to have mine set up like that. That way there's more tension on the end for when they run. And you, obviously if you're down here and just say your alarm don't go off for some reason or it picks it up like this and it pulls your line off of your straw, and you look down there, you're definitely going to see your rod up in the air doing like that. So there's many ways that you can actually use these. They're shorter ones. Uh, obviously, these are the tall ones, which, you know, they work good. Either one you use will actually work good. The bait casters, to me, they're more efficient than using uh, open face reels. I started out using open face reels back when I was a kid. And me personally, I just started using these bait casters within the last year and a half, two years. And I've caught more fish on these bait casters and everything in the last couple years because I've had so many fish hit my line or something like that with the, with the open face reel and have too much uh, play in your line or your rod is maybe too long fishing in the pay lake, they'll just smack it and they won't actually hook themselves. So it's to us, the pay lakers, it's more efficient to use this kind of setup because when you do, when they hit that, no matter what, that hook's gonna hook them every time. Only way that fish is gonna come off is if you're trying to horse it in or you don't know you got a big one. But at the end of the day, this is a pay laker setup and this is how I like to fish. Uh, obviously, if you can look down here, 
you know, we got a fit, we got a mat that we lay our fish on. We lay every fish on this mat. It don't matter if the fish is two pounds or the fish is 30 pounds. It's all about carp care, taking care of the carp. Obviously, this is our this is our uh, sponsored lake, so we definitely want to take care of the fish that this man provides us to come out here and be able to fish and to show us a good time. And that's why we try to take care of his fish that he paid for, so we could definitely have somewhere. <clears throat> to fish. So like I was saying at the beginning of the video, we are here at our sponsor's lake, Indy Lakes, one of the best pay lakes in Indiana. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have for today. I want to appreciate everybody that's tuning in to our uh, YouTube channel, Teen Fish Fighters. And I want to thank you guys again. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Tom Pearson, for showing that great demonstration on how the pay lake stands work and the rigs and uh, what kind of casters they use here on uh, here at Indies. Uh, thanks again for watching our show. Don't forget, carp lives matter. Always use a landing mat. Protect the carp. Protect your investments here at Pay, Pay Lakers. Pay Lake owners, I encourage you guys to take a stand and you start using landing mats for uh, carp care. You guys, uh, man, you guys are investing in these beautiful carp creatures. I mean, uh, why not? You know, you should take care of your investment. Get some landing mats, make it a habit to, for people to start using landing mats. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Team Fish Fighters. Talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye. Who would have thought this music thing was gonna go this far? I never asked for this. I never asked for this fast living. The women, the whiskey, craziness. There's whiskey in my soul. Hey, Bernie, let's go. Let's I've been go. drifting down that open highway. Finger in the air, cause I do things my way. The next town's where I call home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I throw a shine glass down in a light of a smoke. Always raise a little hell. Never do what I'm told. I was born with that whiskey in my soul. Yeah. Uh, uh, put me in the dirt with my bottle in my glass. With a marble headstone saying I was a badass. Born on a bar stool, still living fast. To whiskey in my soul on the day that I pass. Kiss my kids goodbye. Tell them daddy was a rebel. Living life on the road. With his foot on the pedal Now it's backstage rooms where the devil likes to pray With his coke on the counter and a bra with long legs And my great-grandfather was a California bootlegger Now I sell my own booze, I guess I'm a booze maker Life spin a dice game, go ahead and call it Felons on my payroll with a couple alcohol